Hello, internets. Wheezy is finally bringing you that setup video I've been promising for a long time. Um, so let's just get right into it. This is my really old LCD monitor and uh, Sony Vegas Pro 8, which I used to make my magic, which this is where it all happens. So there's some uh, list of my videos. Let's see, what, where are the ones coming up here? Stuff listed under Modern Warfare 2, so I got, got some videos coming up. Yeah, it's my computer that I built. It's not great, but it, it's got a quad core AMD processor. Um, if anyone cares about the specs, maybe I'll post them later. And what everybody really cares about is where do I play my games? Sarah right now is playing, what's this called? Avatar Cannon. She has a monkey riding her. Giggity. <laughs> um, so this is what used to be my TV that she has taken over. It's a 40 inch, I believe, Sharp Aquas. Uh, let's see, my entertainment rack. There's my PS3, um, which I don't play an awful lot of games on because all of our friends have 360s because they're poor. Um, although the PS3s are cheaper now, KJ's going to be getting one soon. My DVR box, my surround sound system. There's Pips 360. It's an arcade, but I bought her an old, I think an old refurb 20 gig hard drive to put on there. Um, and uh, that's my Wii that never gets played. You'll see that the light is red now because our power went out at some point and I never turned it back on to reconnect it to my Wi Fi. Uh, maybe someday. Exactly. Um, and here is where I get to play since she took over my TV. This is a... Do you know what size this is? I don't know. Maybe 21 inch. 22 inch. Possibly. My new red controller that I bought because my black ones got all worn out. Um, and there is my original... Well, not original Xbox. My Elite. It died once because the DVD tray wouldn't stay closed. And I sent it to Microsoft, and they sent me refurbished Elite, a different Elite. And this one has stuck with me. It, I have fixed four red rings on it. And it's current, so I put in an aftermarket fan to try and keep it cooler. I don't know if it'll show that it can power down or the high-powered mode, which I always keep it on now. Um, my memory card, which I bought... To, uh, so that I could transfer my profile easily over to Sarah's console when we wanted to play Rock Band. My little gaming drawer. Um, here, conveniently already flipped to the page, yeah, because I pre-plan, is my diagram for how I set up my capture, which is totally exciting, in case anyone wants to take a screenshot of that. For the less exciting setup video, um, for those of you interested in my actual complicated setup, uh, it's over here in a jumble of wires and nasty. So that is the Hop Hog PVR, which everybody and their grandmother has nowadays on YouTube. Um, it supports up to 1080i resolution, and it does not support HDMI. So, it won't support the full HD capabilities of the 360 or the PS3. Since I can't run my 360 at 1080p because of the PVR, I run it at 720p because I prefer it to 1080i. Um, we can get into a, a tech geek discussion about that. I'll quiet my 360 down here. Um, but yeah, I prefer 720p to 1080i. <sighs> but I prefer 1080p, but that bitch doesn't do it. Okay, so we've got... The component coming out of the 360 comes over here. The video component cables plug straight into the PVR, right there. Um, but the audio cables, uh, I've brought over here into splitters. So we got the left channel and right channel audio, each being split. And I have one end of that splitter going into my TV. I'll explain it right here in a second. And the other end of the audio goes into this, my passive audio mixer which I got pretty cheap on Amazon which allows me to mix the audio from 
my Xbox 360, and my camcorder. That's right, the old camcorder I used to film my videos with, I still use it. And yes, the lens cap always stays on. So I use it to uh, fire it on aux mode there. And it'll record the audio from the room. And that gets mixed together with the audio from the Xbox so that I don't have to do any after processing and mixing. Because I'm I just want to make it as simple as possible. So those get mixed as they record, and the output from that mixer goes into the audio inputs in the PVR next to the straight video inputs. And then the output from the PVR for the video goes into my TV next to the split off audio that I put in earlier and the other audio cables just hang. And the reason for that is if I didn't split that audio then me talking would go into the camera into the PVR into the TV and come out the TV speakers and I would get really bad echo and mind-melting feedback. So I split that off so that all that goes into the TV is the audio straight from the 360. And the PVR gets the audio from the 360 mixed with my audio. So that happens all at once so I don't have to mess with it. And uh, then the USB from that feeds back into my PC and that's where it's captured. Oh yeah, my avatar representing Oklahoma State. That's where I went to college. That's where Sarah went to college as well. Woot! Go Pokes! Nobody cares about Amber. And KJ currently goes there, but nobody cares about any of them. They only care about me. Okay, they only care about you. And maybe KJ. Anyway. So yeah, that's where I capture. And then I edit it into... Zony Vegas, but usually for most videos that don't have commentary, um, all I have to do is drag the captured file into here, tack my intro into it, and render it out. So that takes about 20 minutes, which is nice. I don't have to do any After Effects stuff. And when I want to do commentary, I just capture audio using my webcam, fancy smancy piece of crap Logitech, and uh, then I'll drop that into one of the extra audio tracks there to dub it over. This is actually my commentary template. I have a separate template for commentary and a separate one for just doing gameplay. So, uh, Yeah, so this is my setup, although it is about to change as this bad boy has red ringed a total of four times. The first time, it first it started overheating, which was the two red lights, um, which isn't a red ring of death. And I uh, cleaned it out. It wouldn't run for probably more than 10 minutes when that started happening. So I cracked open the case, cleaned it out, ran it again, did fine for a few months, then another two red ring, or another two lights. Finally, I got tired of it because I knew it was going towards the three red lights, so I cracked it open. Uh, I didn't want to deal with six months at Microsoft warranty. Replaced the X clamps on the heat sinks and reapplied thermal paste basically did the red ring fix without it actually officially red ringing. That worked fine for about a year. Then it actually red ringed. I went in, cleaned it back out, worked good for another six, eight months, and then lately it's red ringed a couple more times. So it's time to out with the old and in with the new. So luckily at E3 they announced brand new hotness and my red rings happened to correspond. So Brand new 360, 250 gigs, and this, the Elite, came with a 120 gig hard drive, and I have filled not even 60 gigs, so honestly, the 250 gig hard drive is completely unnecessary, but, yeah, what the hell. So, yeah, um, let's open this bitch up. So, let's break it. Always cut away from the body, kids. Okay, start here. Don't need that. Wireless freedom, don't need that. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Let's get that console out of there.
protectors. Go bye bye. Oh, shiny. Oh, so that thing is PlayStation 3 glossy. Which, personally, I am not a fan of. I don't know if you can tell from this, but. PlayStation 3 gathers lots of dust and fingerprints. So, yeah. There's the new fancy schmancy 360 with its new controller. And, uh, I'm gonna get it hooked up. 